Hi, welcome back to Call of Garthy. So as you can see, we've beaten the time machine and we... No, we haven't really. So, what I wanted to do was go through this with you. I'm not going to review this, this has been out forever. I've had it a long time, I took it out of the box and decided to fly it because I wanted to see what it was like again. Because, I've been tracking these things on eBay and you can now pick up this set up here so you can get the Bebop, the Sky Controller, if you don't get the tablet, a couple of batteries, the charger for like 110 quid. If you chop around you can actually see them, I've seen them go for less but 150 is the most I've seen one go for recently. Or you can buy this reconditioned for about 90 to 100 pound and you can use a fly pad if you've already got a fly pad with your phone. So the reason for doing this video is because for 100 quid or 120 quid I don't think you can get anything much better than this camera wise. It's got a stabilised camera and as you can see if you watch the screen it's got a stabilised camera that you can move about. So if you watch the screen you can see it moving, I'm moving the camera, but you can see that it's very sunny in here today so let me just show you the screen. So yeah the image moves around, you move it around with your stick. For an EIS drone that's incredible. Now when you're doing that course you're going to take the risk of cropping which is black lines appear on your on your video as it's cropping. You're going to see from the video footage that's coming up that's what happened because I didn't have this thing in the centre so you can see one of my props is in shot at certain points and you can and that's mainly because I couldn't see the screen because I forgot to put the sunshade on and it was really bright today as you'll see from the video. So it's one thing to, to note that you need to make sure this is in a position that you don't have any props in and that if you have got the camera up you're still not getting props in your shot and you'll be absolutely fine. If you go right to the edges of the video you're going to get, uh, it's going to cause problems with the EIS. So one thing to note, you'll see, in, you'll see from the video what I'm in. So the video from this thing looks decent. There's lag as you can see, it's got quite a bit of lag. It's old technology, it's very old technology, it's been out a long time now. But look, it's a decent looking drill, I think these things are really nice. The other thing about these is the bits are for nothing, you can buy a new front for this for like 8 quid, the props are like a fiver, and they're for genuine stuff. So if, if, if you've never seen one of these before, you hear the fan that's running, you probably hear that on the camera, so this is mounted on rubber on rubber balls as you can see there and that is to try and give it the most stable picture it can get works really well you're going to see it hover it hovers decently so underneath all you have is a very small optical flow center and, a, and that's all you've got you've got gps but it's not it's only single gps and then obviously you've got the sky controller which is massive but I, I don't mind it, you get used to it, it's quite heavy and it, it, you have to put a strap on your neck otherwise you're going to drop it. I have a big tablet on it and that's why I kind of like it because it has a big tablet. You can do all sorts of stuff, like I said I'm not reviewing this, but the Sky Controller works really really nicely. And the beauty of course if you've got the Sky Controller over the fly pad is the tablet will connect to the Sky Controller and the Sky Controller will connect to the drone. If you don't, haven't got it that way, you are flying completely Wi-Fi because your phone will connect to the drone and then the fly pad will connect Bluetooth to the phone. You're not going to get anywhere near the range that you're going to get flying it with a Sky Controller. So if you are after one of these and you think these are ugly, you can get a Sky Controller too because I've seen them going second hand for around 70 quid. But I wouldn't bother me, I'd just buy this pack. So it's got some advantages and the advantages are it's cheap. You can pick one up well, it's got a decent camera on it. The disadvantages is, if you buy one of these second hand, I suggest you go buy some batteries because this battery in here, that I, you see the flight test lasted six and a half minutes. It's been used twice, it's a year old. If you leave these things to store, they're just useless after a year. If you tend to fly this thing, you get a summer's flight out of it. Just buy a new battery, they're cheap. You can buy the non-gen batteries, the 2650s, which is quite a bit higher than this, so it doesn't look as nice and sleek. You can get them for about 16, 17 quid. And people say don't buy them because they don't last, but the original Parrot batteries don't last to me, but that's my personal preference. And that is one of the downsides of this. And as I say, I particularly wouldn't fly it with a fly pad because the range isn't the best because you're relying on the camera connecting, the drone connecting to your phone. You're going to see from the video footage coming up that it's stable in the air and you're going to see the video footage of me flying it around. It's not a review, it's simply a thing to say, what about one of these? Would you fancy getting one of these for the money? 
if you want to get into camera drones there's so much other stuff out at the minute there is a lot of camera drones out at 100 120 quid but i don't think any of them have the camera as good as this one i think this has the best camera in that price bracket you're not going to get the flight time but we're, we're one of the uh, bigger batteries you're going to get 10, 10 11 minutes which is what you're going to get anyway on some kind of cheap drone i recommend it i think it's great it's old don't get me wrong i'm not saying buy this over anything else i'm not it's nowhere near as good as the Femi, the Xeno or stuff like that but it is a decent entry level drone and if that's what you're looking for just to get into it this could be the thing it's stable it, it flies well I like the way it flies you can do bank turns with it it's a really nice thing to fly it's a bit of fun so thanks ever so much for watching enjoy the video that's coming up and have a fantastic day there's a very very well, there's actually no breeze at the minute, and as you can see, it's quite stable. So, this is automatically recorded as soon as I set off, I believe. Just let me double check that. Yep, so it's recording as automatic takeoff. So look at that, look how stable it is. So, I've got this in quite low pitch and so forth because I want to see what I'm going to show you what the camera quality is like on it so let's get it up in the air now remember you can control that camera with this with your control you can bring the camera up and down which is quite a novelty on an EIS camera let's just take a forward a bit we're not going to fly a long way with this today, I just wanted to basically show you how good it can look for the money. Let's go up a little bit more. I'm flying this with a tablet at the minute. You get used to the fact the sky controller is huge after a little bit, and it is huge. But I've flown it on the fly pad, it's nowhere near as good on the fly pad. You lose connection quite often and I'm not the biggest fan in the world of the, with this with a fly pad. But the main thing I wanted to show you just how decent film you can get out of this thing for such a cheap cost. If you fly it faster and you have the control set much faster, you obviously don't get anywhere near as good video. But if you if you're sensible with it and you're not bothered about going like a rocket, it's absolutely fine. And the only thing I do find with this is the fact that, and I have mentioned before that. The batteries are not the best in the world. If you do buy one of these used, I recommend buying some batteries straight away because the chances of them working well are slim. So again, I'll just tilt the camera up again so you can see it. It's superb the fact that you can tilt the camera on an EIS device. And I hope you can see that. You, don't get me wrong, this is not a DJI, but we're talking second hand, these things are going for around 120 quid with a sky controller. And you could probably get some batteries with it, and you might be lucky and get some that are decent, but if you've got to buy some batteries, you could pick them up cheap enough. You can get the aftermarket ones, you tip and they do work, the bigger ones, but they just don't last. You can see it's getting some speed on there. And when you let off, it takes a while to settle when you let off. It's not as responsive as some of the other things, but it doesn't pile the brakes on either. So let's just go up a little bit with that camera. And let's go out here a little bit. It's drifting a little bit there in the wind, but like I said before, it's a cheap drone. And to be fair, the technology is quite old now. I don't know how old this is, but technology is old. It doesn't really drop its altitude, which is what I like about it. I don't know if you can tell there, but we are going quite quite, quite fast there. I'll just give it some full stick forward. I've sped it up a little bit. And so as I see, when you let go of the stick, it takes it a little bit to settle down. But as long as you know that's going to happen, it's absolutely fine. The 
the one thing I haven't done, I haven't calibrated this compass. So I calibrated the compass when I got it, but I've not calibrated it since and I haven't calibrated today until it was normal, so let's go up and get some more height. It's a really nice day today. I think these are great for the money as a starter drone. Uh, yeah, the sky control is huge. And by today's standards, it looks very old fashioned. When it came out, I think it was a bit gimmicky, but the stick resolution feels quite decent on it. I like the way it flies with this, it. it's just massive. I mean, the other option is you can go get yourself a sky controller uh, 2, which is what they have on the Bebop 2. You pick them up cheap enough, get yourself one of those. But like I say, it wouldn't really concern me too much. Gonna pan round slowly there, so you can see. And you can get some really nice shots with it. Here you go. So it's got low battery. Now this is what happened. So this battery hasn't been. We're only doing a short flight anyway. But this battery's fully charged. It's only had about six flights, but it's been left and this is what happens to them, so it's one of the disadvantages, but I've probably got enough footage there to show you. I hope you've seen enough to make you realise how nice this thing looks. Let's just bring it in for a landing. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.